Hello, my name is James, and in this video, we're going to learn about the dynamic query feature within the Builder Pro plugin from Themify. For the Builder Pro plugin to work, you will need to install either the standard Builder plugin or simply use any Themify theme. For this tutorial, I've installed the Alter theme from Themify. Once you've installed the Builder Pro plugin, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a custom theme. To do this, we'll come over here to Themify and choose Pro Themes. Next, we'll click on Add New Theme. We can give our theme a name and click Next. From here, we can choose to start with a blank slate or we can import one of these themes here. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've chosen to import the magazine theme already. You can select the magazine theme and click Activate. This will create a custom theme. Once we've done that, we'll click on Go To Templates And as you can see, when we imported the magazine theme, it also imported all of these templates for us. The one that we're going to be looking at for this tutorial is under the Archive tab. We're going to be looking at the Magazine Post Archive template. To edit this template, simply hover over and choose Front End. Now I'm actually going to delete this module. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the Slider module and add that to our template. Here I'm going to choose to enable the dynamic query option. What this will do is this will automatically detect what kind of archive we're looking at and it will display the correct kind of post. I'm just going to click done, save, and close the editor. Now let's take a look at one of our archives. I'll go to posts, categories, and let's view the photography category. As you can see, the photography category looks exactly like the template that we just created. But that template does not only apply to photography. Let's check out the work category. It's the same. The dynamic query feature is automatically detecting what kind of archive we are looking at and displaying the appropriate content. But we don't have to use a slider. Let's see what other cool things we can do with this feature. I'm going to click this purple button that says Edit Template. I'm going to delete this module. And I'm going to find a new module called Mosaic. Again, I'm going to choose to enable the Dynamic Query feature. I'll click Done, Save and close out the editor. Now you can see instead of a slider, we have this really cool mosaic layout. And of course, it not only applies to this category, but it applies to any category that we look at. But what if you want the mosaic layout for the photography category, but you want the slider layout for all the other categories? That's actually very simple to do. Let's check it out. First, we're gonna go back to our pro templates. and we'll go to the Archive tab. And I've already set up this template for the slider. What we're gonna do for this template is choose Options, and we're going to set it to include all archives, but we're gonna add another condition to exclude category of photography. We'll click Save and close this box. Now we'll change the mosaic template to only show up on the category of photography. We'll get rid of all these conditionals. We'll add a condition to include categories called photography. We'll save it, close the window, and we'll go back to our photography category. As you can see, in our photography category, we have the mosaic layout. But if we switch over to the work category, we see the slider layout. This is the power of the Builder Pro from Themify using the dynamic query feature and the display conditions feature. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait to show you our next awesome feature in the next tutorial.